Department of Homeland Security exists for fucking you and me more than it does for these kebabs. Right. Yeah, no, we're always trotting out these uh, domestic terrorism stats and watching these homegrown groups. And, you know, you have uh, fucking Loretta Lynch now coming out and saying that, um, which I which I think is tantamount to treason. But she's saying that uh, if you say anything that edges toward anti-Islamic rhetoric um, or promoting violence or something like that, we're going to come and prosecute you. So, On you know, what grounds it, will they prosecute? Surely the First Amendment must cover the sort of thing. Yeah, it it does. That that's the thing. I mean, it 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 even sort of covers like in, in inciting in, violence. Yeah, it, aside. I mean, outside the context of a specific target or a specific course of action, but just generally like LARPing about fucking, you know. Like, remove kebab is apparently yeah. what she could be targeting. Yeah, yeah well, right. good luck to her on that. I mean, they could do that here, but they can't do that in America. Apparently, a guy who is like a one-term Tea Party congressman who has some sort of uh, internet conservative radio show, uh, former Illinois representative Joe Walsh, he was like, I think Islam has a freaking real problem. And if they're not going to learn to assimilate, I don't want them in this country. And then he he went on to say, you got a problem, Loretta Lynch, with me saying that? Then throw me in jail. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, so she's already, yeah. yeah, Someone has already come out and fucking dared her. to. And that's the thing. When she said that, like, once upon a time, I would have been so fucking triggered by that. But at this point, I'm just like, from my point of view, that's the best thing that she could have said. Yeah, because it's because uh, as triggering as it is, it just wakes up so many fucking people. And the, and, the, and I don't know whether the left is just not aware of this when they say this kind of stuff. Like they, we've talked about this so many times. The catch twenty two that they're in, where um, you know they, they, the further they march to the left, the the more aware the people in the country become, um, and they just can't help themselves from saying these things. So good on her for saying that because she probably just. Um, Red pilled a bunch of people with that. Yeah, no, dude, normal people, not p- particularly political. You know, they're trying to raise their children, fucking get them, get get them breakfast in the morning, off to school, fucking go to work themselves, come home, go to a fucking t ball game or whatever. Like these people are not trying to fucking like risk their lives to prove some sort of point about multiculturalism. They are not interested in that. No, and and they we've seen what happens as a result of multiculturalism, um, and I think people recognize that it's that it's a failure. Uh, you know, people people don't want to put their life at risk just to just to um, uh, to satisfy some liberal leftist social experiment, and and it's uh, it's even gotten to the point where. They're not willing to risk it for moral signaling, which is a very strong force indeed. So, yeah. Well, funnily enough, wasn't it uh, a few current years ago? Wasn't wasn't it uh, Angela Merkel that said that um, uh, multiculturalism had failed? Yet um, she's hell bent on destroying her own country with it, which is quite funny. Was it her that said that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. do recall that story. Yeah, that was oh, a few. Was like that? I said. Oh, a few current years ago, maybe yeah, it like was 20... two or three. <laughs> yeah, like 2013, yeah. 2012. I don't know. It's, it's, it, back, no... back, back yeah, in the back in the battle. ages of like three years ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Back oh, this... God. Yeah. Sorry. That's another thing. I mean, it seems like it seems like everything is. It's not just like people remembering, you know, the previous decade fondly. Like people are starting, people are starting to really be like, everything is getting worse, and it's happening at a fucking alarming rate. It's not just like me, you know, remembering my youthful self and and the circumstances. Like twenty years ago, yeah, through, yeah growing through, up under, growing up in the morning sunshine of Ronald Reagan and shit. No, yeah, we're yeah. talking about twenty fourteen. Yeah, yeah, through rose colored glasses. Yeah, someone was like, yeah, it's not. I'm not talking about nineteen eighty, dude. I'm talking about like the late nineties. 
Yeah, the late '90s. I mean, dude, even <laughs> even uh, I mean, dude, just think of the think of the the fucking dynamic in the United States uh, in like 2003, 2004. I mean, oh, dude, it's just out of control. <laughs> well, I. I used to be like one of those optimists where, you know, everything's getting better because technology, et cetera, et cetera. But then you think about it and you are, you basically just, just because you have shinier tech in the current year than you did in the previous year, that doesn't really mean anything because, I mean, I agree, I completely agree with NRXs in, in this sense where the government is getting progressively worse. And I think at some point that the, the, vice in technology will will no longer be able to compensate for the fall in the quality of government so i think we'll we, we might be coming on to that at some point in the quite the near future so um it will be interesting to see you can't you can no longer be like one of those basic bitch sort of people yeah. who believes that steven pinker was right and things like that yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's go ahead Aversham. Uh, it, I was just saying, going to say that shiny nigger tech is the only thing like keeping this whole illusion going. Yeah. Um, like people, people have these enlightened, these very enlightened notions of of humanity, uh, you know, right now. But it's like, dude, it, it's only technology that has evolved and gotten better and made things better. Human beings have not changed much in any like amount of time that we can appreciate right now. No. Not at all. And yeah. I mean, and, yeah, without like cable television, the, you know, the electric Jew and, um, you know, your fucking smartphone and smart watches and all this shit. I mean, you, you remove all those baubles and, and whatnot from American life and even, you know, dial things back on, you know, what kind of cars we drive and whatnot. I mean, it, it's a pretty sad state of affairs that we live in today. And But without all those distractions, uh, I think people would be very much aware of what's going on right now. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, ab absolutely, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, 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 I was just going to say, sort of reiterate my point that, yeah, we, we are just blinded by, by the, 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 you know, the new shiny iPhone or whatever, and we think that, therefore, life must be getting better just because it's getting a bit more easy and more convenient, but it's not the same thing as better.